Hey everyone, it's James again We're here with the Pygon Bot development team and <clears throat> with the search engines that we've added, yellowpages.com is a pretty interesting one and we've also added a unique report for that. Um, so when you uh, harvest data from Yellow Pages, you can actually export out a full report um, that will come out in a CSV that will include the business's name, uh, that will include their address, phone number, their website link, etc. And obviously you can use the website links to uh, export out and then upload in Pygonbot and have it look for a contact page. But one of the cool things about this uh, report is some of you may have played around with the custom shortcode feature in Pygonbot. And this feature is really cool because you can make specific messages uh, to each website that you are sending a message to. And with the ability to export out a full report that includes the company's name or address or you know whatever the piece of data may be, you can easily make that into special custom short codes. So when you're messaging the people, it will have the company's name included in that or address or whatever piece of information that you'll want in, in, into that. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, using the custom shortcode feature, there is a link here to a YouTube video that will show you the basics of how that works. So again, this is a really cool feature that we've added here. Uh, now let me talk a little bit about yellowpages.com. Uh, that uh, search engine is uh, pretty cool. You'll notice when you select this specific option, you'll get a little pop-up prompt. And it's essentially just giving you the directions of how to work it. Uh, the first thing that you'll have to do after you choose yellowpages.com is you'll have to add your footprints. And again, that's just by clicking this green button here, adding the file that, that contains the footprints. And in the case of yellowpages.com, the footprints are your cities. So you're going to have a list of cities that you will be um, uploading to them. So for example, if you wanted to look for plumbers, let's say in Seattle, Washington, uh, you would have your footprint file, um, just say just that. And uh, let me see here a second. I'm going to actually save this. And then um, you would put your keyword plumbers up here. So I'll, I'll do a little scrape here with yellow pages just to show you how it w works. And that's my keyword, Seattle, Washington. And then I'm going to change this to custom because we did add a custom footprint to it. If you try to use the default one on yellowpages.com, it won't work. So just so you just be aware of that um, and then I'm gonna turn off the throttle if you're scraping tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of, of different listings uh, for different keywords different cities and etc you might want to use the throttle on it uh, uh, I found you know when I was doing really deep uh, scraping in yellow pages uh, about a uh, 5 to 15 second uh, random delay worked pretty good so uh, anyways, for this example, I'm going to turn it off because I'm not going to be scraping really deep and you'll be able to see the results a lot faster. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to click start and we can just watch it run. And it'll take a second here and you'll see that as it's going through the listings, you'll see the name of the uh, companies come through here. Um, and it goes pretty quickly. I'm sure for Seattle, there's probably a, a, a ton of results that'll that'll go through. And so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the scraping early just because uh, you can see here that it scraped pretty well within just about 10, 15 seconds. We already had about 330 results. But uh, again, uh, if I wanna just take out the actual listing URL, meaning the link to the page of the yellow pages uh, listing for the company you would choose this option export yellow page listing URLs if you want the complete report you're gonna want um, to uh, you're gonna wanna make a CSV file and I'm gonna open this up
I'm going to open this up here. All right, so now we see the uh, item came out into the CSV. I have the proper things here marked, and you can see how the format of it's going to open up. And then once the format opens up, you can see that you have the names of the companies, the categories of the listing that the companies were in. You can see the addresses of the companies, um, their website links, uh, etc. And and uh, all of this data, you know, whether you're using it to scan for contact pages or you're going to use it for a custom short codes. So when you message them, you're highly personal with each one of them. Or, you know, whatever you're using it for. Maybe you have a call center. You just need uh, a list of uh, f uh, phone numbers and businesses to start selling your service to. I mean, this this is a perfect uh, application that works really fast uh, that will give you data uh, really quickly. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for you and you're able to... Um, get all the benefits of using this application uh, to the full potential marketing yourself or your company your product services um, it's a really great po uh, powerful application uh, I personally don't believe there's any comparison between Pycon bot and any other scraper or har harvester out there or contact form submitter out there um, this has a ton of features and uh, it is something that if you're using it right and you're putting together really good campaign strategies for your marketing will not only uh, bring you in a lot of leads uh, but will make your endeavors highly profitable because you're able to mass market to bulk amount of people in very short periods of time with it uh, anyways have a great day and keep on keeping on